The West Midlands has a new mainline connection to London to rival the West Coast route to Euston. Some trains run by Chiltern Railways from Birmingham Moor Street to London Marylebone now take just 100 minutes, knocking 20 minutes off the previous journey time. Some peak time trains are even quicker, taking just 90 minutes. At the same time, reliability has been improved. So how has it been achieved? Well, let's take you on a journey to find out. We start at Moore Street in the centre of Birmingham. The Grade II listed building has been beautifully restored to its pre-war glory, yet the station provides all the facilities modern passengers expect in the 21st century. Two new platforms have been added for the mainline service, as well as for a shuttle service to and from Leamington Spa. Today's journey is on a silver mainline train, which offers increased space and comfort, a business zone, as well as free Wi-Fi. Previous phases of improvements had already upgraded the line between Birmingham and Banbury to achieve speeds of 100 miles an hour. The small stations we're passing through are served by the shuttle service, which allows the mainline trains to speed through. On this train, our first stop is Solihull. Then it's on to Warwick Parkway and Leamington Spa. The Chiltern Main Line is the largest domestic passenger railway project to be privately funded for more than 70 years. It takes the total investment made in the Chiltern Railways franchise to £600 million. Banbury Station is our last stop before London on this service and it's from this point onwards that the recent project has transformed the journey by increasing the line speed to 100 miles an hour through a series of pinch points through which trains had previously had to travel much slower. At Aino Junction, line speed was improved by installing a specially designed high-speed set of points into a new track bed, together with new signalling. Bottlenecks such as Aino were worked upon during a rolling series of weekend closures, so Monday to Friday commuters were not affected. At Bister North, not only was the track remodelled, but also an old one was extended. Here and along the route to London, Atkins carried out the preliminary and detailed design, including track and civil engineering, earthworks, bridges, signalling, telephones and power supplies. The upgrade has been the fastest moving rail project in the UK for many years. It's been a supreme challenge to integrate all the design elements and carry them out in 52-hour blocks of intense weekend work, while at the same time not compromising quality or safety. At Prince's Risborough, the Upper Ignord Bridge was replaced in a weekend. The old track, earth and brickwork was removed before the old bridge was lifted out and the new one lifted in. All the civil engineering work on the entire mainline project has been carried out by Bam Nuttall, and after the bridge was in place, their men still had time to replace earth and ballast before laying a new track in time for the Monday morning rail timetable. Work returned to Prince's Risborough in early July 2011 to install geotextile and track ballast, relay an old crossover and extend the new track. High Wycombe was another area which saw the track being remodelled. Platform 1 at the station was also replaced. Our mainline train passes through stations like High Wycombe without stopping, while a shuttle service to London and back serves the local population. Between High Wycombe and Gerrard's Cross, three new footbridges were put in place so that foot crossings could be closed and the line speed increased. The northern end of the track at Gerrard's Cross was remodelled in mid-January 2011. First, the old track was removed before a new realigned track was put in place, including switches to activate a new crossover point with supporting signalling and telecoms. <laughs> 
one of the biggest bottlenecks on the line was at North Holt Junction. This has been alleviated by constructing a new Birmingham-bound line adjacent to the London-bound line. By constructing a second line with 75 metres of new points, the line speed through this section has been raised to 100 miles an hour. Temporary tracks were installed so specially designed and remotely controlled PEMLEM machines could put the points in exactly the right position. By breaking the work up into discrete geographical packages, the majority of the work has been done in weekend possessions. But in the eight days between August the 13th and August the 21st, 2011, the line was closed to finish the last major piece of the jigsaw, to realign a half-mile stretch of line at Neesden, which raised the speed in this section by up to 40 miles an hour. You're watching the first section of the line being completed during the closure. And while that work was going on at Neesden, all the completed work was being joined together into one integrated mainline network. And here we are at Marylebone Station in the heart of London, just under 100 minutes from when we left Birmingham's Moor Street Station, 20 minutes faster than the journey would have taken previously. In just 20 months from construction commencing in January 2010, Bam Nuttall, Atkins and Chiltern Railways have increased the line speed to 100 miles an hour on almost 55 miles of track. 38 sets of points have been installed and nine sets refurbished. 14 stations have been realigned and two platforms widened. Three quarters of a mile of embankments have been widened. Two new underbridges have been installed and two more strengthened. Three new footbridges have replaced foot crossings. 87 new signals have been installed and 91 new signs erected. And all that work allowed us to speed from Birmingham to London, courtesy of Chiltern Railways and their contractors, Bam Nuttall and Atkins. Let's do it again at speed. <laughs>